Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to change a spark plug in your lawnmower. All right, make sure that before you do any work for changing the spark plug, you actually cross-reference and get the right spark plug. So this is the spark plug that fits. It's actually a different number than the plug that is rated for this motor, but it is the correct one, and we'll talk a little bit more about the spark plug uh, in just a bit. So this is the cap right here. On this particular engine, on the front, you'll see somewhere on your motor, it has a cap, and it just pulls off. So you're gonna grab that firmly with your hand, kind of wiggle it, and it's gonna pop off, okay? And you're gonna move that out of the way, and you'll see there is the spark plug. Now typically spark plugs have two different sizes when it comes to the sockets. Either uh, a 5 8 inch deep well socket like this, and this is specifically for spark plugs, kind of looks like that, or an 11 16 socket. Now looking here, I do this a lot, it's an 11 16 socket. I've got it on a, rat, a ratchet and I've got a little extension on there, and you're going to slip the socket right over the top of the um, spark plug, and you're gonna feel that it's firm. Now, it's gonna be tight. You wanna hold this firmly, and if you just pull it, you might not be able to loosen it, so you're gonna hold some pressure there, and then take your hand and just kinda, what's called cracking the nut, and then you're gonna loosen it. Now, once you kinda get that first one, the shaft of this particular spark plug is longer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the ratchet off, and I'm gonna use this extension, and I'm just gonna turn it by hand and this is gonna allow me to take the old plug out. And it unscrews, and you can see here's the old plug, okay? And now this is the Kohler number because it's a Kohler engine, and when I cross-reference that, it came up with this Champion spark plug. Now, interestingly enough, what I noticed, because I took another one out of the package is, this used an 11 16 socket, the new one, the retrofit one, is actually going to use a 5 8 socket. I don't want you to be so concerned with that sizing. What's most important is when you hold the spark plugs next to each other and you line up these washers, okay? This is the most important part, the depth of the actual spark of the spark plug. So when I hold them there, you can see that those line up and match up. That's the most important. For some reason, you grab a spark plug and you notice it was something like this, the new one, it's not gonna work, it just won't work. So that's what's the most important part. One other thing is, these spark plugs come pre-gapped. I'm not sure that we can see that, but you see this little metal piece right here and then that little tab underneath there? That's where the spark is. And there needs to be a little bit of a separation between that metal and that little kind of brass colored tip right there. If for some reason you see that it's smashed down in there, you need to just kind of pull it up a little bit. There is a proper gapping that has to occur. Normally this will not be an issue, I just want you to check it to make sure. Now that we know that this is the right spark plug, I'm going to go ahead and change the socket because I mentioned it's a different size. One thing that you'll notice with uh, deep well sockets here that are designed for spark plugs, this will be tough to see, but there's a little rubber gasket inside here that is designed to actually hold the spark plug. So when you place that new one in there, see how it doesn't seem to go in there? You actually have to push it in to fit into the rubber. The reason is it won't drop out. It's designed to hold it in place. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna carefully insert it into the hole that's gonna accept the spark plug. And you're just gonna gently tighten this. I'm gonna do it with my hand until that washer hits the base of the engine, okay? And there's a lot of thread there, and now it's snug enough with my fingers. I'm gonna take the ratchet, put it on, and I'm gonna tighten it. And you don't wanna over tighten, but you wanna get a little pressure on there, and once you feel that washer sit, just give it a little quarter turn like that, and that's it. Okay, then once you tighten it, then you wanna kinda of wiggle it. That gasket's gonna hold it pretty well, so you may have to wiggle it a little bit and pull and then it comes out. Now, there's the spark plug, here's the cover. When you push this over the top of it, you're gonna hear a click once it goes on. You just replace the spark plug on your lawnmower, it's gonna run a heck of a lot better. My video on how to change an air filter on your gas-powered lawnmower is coming up next. <laughs>